Today in Fish Fabrication, we went over the cod and salmon trout family. They're different families, but the cod family and the salmon family, the trout, salmon and trout are together. The cod family is the fish that changed the world, actually. It is what Leif Erikson and his crew lived on, on their venture over here from Greenland. And when he came, he said that their cod were so many that you could walk across the ocean. When you could walk on top of them, walk on water, which is pretty ridiculous. You know. Another name for a small cod is a scrod. Does any member of the cod family that is less than, well, less than two and a half pounds? Cods do get cod worms. I cleaned a cusk today, which is a very ugly fish. It's similar to an eel. But besides that, it did have cod worms. It had about 40 worms in it. And cod worms get into the fish because the fish eats these when it's the worm, when it's a different stage in its life, when it's at a larva form. And it's a big cycle. The uh, they start in the seal, well, sort of, and the seal are expelled with the feces, and they grow to the next stage of their life, and then, first stage are invertebrates, host, and they turn into a larva, and then, the final larva is eaten by the cod. Gets in its stomach. It's all nasty. The little tiny worms could be up to like an inch long. They're about the width of a couple of hairs, human hairs. The first cod we looked at was the Atlantic cod. Some distinct characteristics is it has three dorsal fins. It has two anal fins. It's got a white or lateral line. And as big, big reflective eyes and it has more straight gill plate it's got an overbite too and it does have a chin barb to help it feel around because it is on the bottom most of the time the low activity level we use the up and over cutting technique because it has hard bones this fish is good for the bones are good you can use them in stocks very well low activity fish tend to be good in using it for stocks and stuff on hello hello how are you I'm good